I'm Zayda Hosseini and this is my FFB TV story. Finding another deal and being back in the pro system feels good and it's good to feel secure and feel as if someone believes in you. Obviously it's hard coming out of the pro system once before but I always believed in my ability and knew I'd get back in. My trial was good to be fair, I went in for a couple training sessions and all the boys was welcoming and uh, I just did what I had to do and then I came to a training game and I showed what I had and we just went from there. My favourite players to watch are probably Mares, Robinho and Tarek. They're just a similar play style to mine, the confidence that they carry and they're from where I'm from, they came straight from the bottom. When trying to beat a man I always make sure that I just keep confidence and I just have in my mind that I'm going to get past that person and usually I just see it when as soon as he plants his feet or he doesn't want to go in, I'm going in and I'm going straight past him. The difference between playing in the park and the academy system was crazy. When you're in that academy system, when you make those mistakes, you truly get punished for them. The park taught me everything about my style and um, the confidence to take people on 1v1 and I would say I was one of the more skillful players at the park but at the same time some of the ability was just out of this world, some of them are at the best places in football now and my aims and my goals this season is just to help the team as much as possible, obviously on a personal level just get as many goals and assists as I can but overall hopefully we can get to the playoffs and do something special. My advice to people trying to get signed at my age is just to always keep believing in your ability. You're always going to get setbacks and knockbacks, but as long as you take one step back, you can always take two steps forward. I had a lot of good games for the FFD Academy, uh, Peter Barra, Brentford, Sheffield Wednesday, but I have to say the best one was probably against MK Dons. Um, got two goals there, was first on beat a few men and whatnot, and put in bottom corner and second one, I think 30 yards out or something, just slapped it bins. <laughs> Playing in the estate was the best, man. That's where I learned everything and where I first learned to love football. Like, that's football, you know what I mean? Everyone was out and it was always just so competitive. At the end of the day, we was all brothers and we all loved each other. And this is where I found my identity as a player, as a dribbler. This is where I learned to take on my man and just embarrass me. Everything was just, it was like it was all like a little family. I've taken everything, my confidence and being able to beat a man. And obviously I've just learned my craft overall and then just adapted that as I moved on. Keeping sharp in my own time was difficult due to the pandemic, but I always just made sure that I was doing my extras and feeling sharp and obviously going to the FFD sessions as well um, was helping my fitness and being able to do group sessions. Knowing I got the pro contract, I was relieved and proud and happy someone took a chance on me, but I can't get comfy now, it's time to work.